You are now ready to prepare the PN solution with vitamin K once a week as prescribed by your physician. We remind you that you must keep the solution in the refrigerator and take it out on the same day it is administered or in the afternoon on hot days. Do not expose the PN solution bag to sunlight or place it on top of a microwave oven. The multivitamins are contained in two separate vials. To draw them, you must absolutely observe the following steps. Remove the 10 mm syringe from its package. Draw 5 mm of air into the syringe by pulling back the plunger, avoiding contact with the shaft. Place the syringe in the tray. Remove the cap from one of the two vials. Using an alcohol wipe, disinfect the rubber stopper of the vial for 30 seconds, making circular motions from the center outwards. Discard the alcohol wipe in the waste basket. Hold the syringe in one hand and pull the cap off with the other without touching the needle. Insert the needle into the center of the vial stopper. Hold the vial and syringe upside down and push the syringe plunger to inject air into the vial and then draw the vial's contents. If necessary, pull the plunger back to fill the syringe completely. Pull the vial down, remove the needle from the vial, and put the cap back on the needle. Draw 5 mm of air into the same syringe, cap the needle, and put it in the tray. Repeat these steps for the second multivitamin vial using the same syringe but a new alcohol wipe. When you are finished, put the syringe in the tray and discard the two multivitamin vials in the wastebasket. Once a week, on the day prescribed by your physician, you must add vitamin K. The amount to be injected depends on your medical prescription. The technique for drawing vitamin K is different because it is contained in an ampoule. Proceed as follows. Remove the 3 mm syringe from its package. Remove the needle from its package without touching the tip and screw it into the syringe. Put the syringe down. Tap the top of the ampoule to make sure all of the medication is in the bottom part. Disinfect the ampoule neck with an alcohol wipe for 30 seconds. Safely open the ampoule by firmly pressing away from you on the top section to cleanly snap the neck. You may use a sterile gauze to avoid cutting your hands. Hold the 3 mm syringe in one hand and pull its protective cap off with the other. Insert the needle into the center of the ampoule without touching the edge. Gently pull back the plunger to draw the contents of the ampoule. Evacuate the air from the syringe by gently tapping the barrel. Cap the needle without contaminating it and place the syringe in the tray until it needs to be used. Discard the ampoule and its stop in the biohazard container. Once you are finished drawing the multivitamins and the vitamin K, you can add them to the nutrition solution. Proceed as follows. 
Before you begin, it is essential that you wash your hands for one minute and your forearms for 30 seconds each, as explained in Module 2. Disinfect the bag's injection port with an alcohol wipe for 30 seconds. Discard the alcohol wipe in the wastebasket. Hold the 3 mm syringe in one hand and remove its protective cap with the other. Insert the needle into the bag's injection port, making sure that it is parallel to the work surface to avoid puncturing the bag. Push the plunger, making sure that the syringe's contents are entering the bag properly. Remove the needle, cap it, and place the syringe in the tray. Disinfect the injection port of the solution bag with a new alcohol wipe for 30 seconds. Discard the alcohol wipe in the wastebasket. Hold the 10 mm syringe in one hand and remove its protective cap with the other. Insert the needle into the bag's injection port, making sure that it is parallel to the work surface to avoid puncturing the bag. Push the plunger, making sure that the syringe's contents are entering the bag properly. Remove the needle, cap it, and place the syringe in the tray. Unscrew the needles from your syringes and dispose of the needles in the biohazard container. Discard the syringes in the wastebasket. Gently press the bag to make sure it isn't perforated. If you notice that the bag is perforated, do not use it. You must take a new solution bag from the refrigerator, leave it for at least an hour outside the refrigerator before using it and repeat every single step. Finally, place the nutrition bag so that the gray divider is facing downwards and the yellow rubber seal is facing upwards. Peel the rubber seal off, remove the divider and gently rock the bag back and forth 